In this little video, I'm going to show you Android Wear 2.0 additions to Bubble Clouds. I already showed you complication support in a previous video, also the runtime permissions which were necessarily be added in this uh, new version. And this video will show you the standalone features. Bubble Clouds will now be functional even without a phone. So that's a good news for iPhone users, but any other users will profit from this. All the settings are now available on the watch. So let me show you. The settings screen got updated now. Uh, you can see uh, since we are in uh, watch face mode the hotspot size changing the seek bar is now taken away that was not necessary all along also there is no way to turn it off in watch face mode you have to just select a different watch face and then it's going to be turned off then we have three buttons on the top we already know the star and the button the favorites and the archives and in the center we have the clock bubble settings let's start with that actually why not so the clock bubble settings uh, let us uh, select uh, the kind of clock bubble we want analog the one we use right now the digital uh, which doesn't work very well with this um, style you can see the digital time there in that circle and also the uh, digital in one row that's um, here of course um, it would look nicer if we turned off the seconds for this so that's what I did there and you can see every time I make a change uh, the watch face is updated and shown to me and that's because uh, this preview changes is enabled it's just a nice way to preview changes right away and you can touch anywhere on the screen uh, to come back to the settings now uh, you could see the time there uh, here uh, we can change the different uh, colors so you saw how the uh, hours were hard to see on a dark background with black color so I'm going to select uh, an hour color here and change it to white so there we go and it's now updated with this white color much easier to read also we can change uh, the size uh, make it a little bit bigger well this is too big so I go lower a little bit lower and there we go it fits on the screen right now we can uh, take away uh, the colon the separator if we want or put it back if we want so all the features become available here also options for um, clearing the theme and uh, restoring defaults are both here and you can see uh, two columns here uh, the first column is for the active watch face and the second column is for the ambient watch face colors very similar to the phone application but it's all here on the watch uh, while we are here let's look at uh, the favorite cloud settings uh, which are similar to previous versions you have uh, again the preview options there so all these changes can be previewed right on the watch right away so here we can freeze the uh, bubbles in so they don't change size when we um, tap on them we have the uh, variance control the margin controls and also new here we can select the bubble types so uh, right now you could see the bubbles you are uh, using these uh, uniform theme bubbles but uh, we can go to the second uh, type the hollow bubbles or we can go and use uh, no bubbles at all and below them you can see the uniform colors so right now we have these golden colors but if I click there I can make a change I will change it to this uh, purplish color and uh, you will see those all of uh, them changed right there also we have these uh, layout options these are not new and finally at the bottom you can uh, turn on and off uh, 
uh, the uh, background colors so there we go I, I can select a different uh, background color I will go with this uh, greenish color and that color is now used as the background very hard to read so I'm going to just go back to use uh, this uh, theme background image and while we are uh, at themes let me go back uh, we have the one-click theme settings right here on the watch, which is pretty amazing, I think. Uh, if you go there, it shows you all the themes that are installed on your watch. And on Android Web 2.0, we will have the Play Store where we can download other uh, theme apps even. But uh, these ones are installed, so let me just go and select the different theme pack. I will uh, select that uh, white one. So this uh, takes me to theme pack 4. You could see a preview of uh, the themes included in theme pack 4. And here we have a list of all the different themes. So let me select this white one that I uh, told you. and. Here we have an option to just apply this theme as it is, that's the apply all button and then it really becomes just uh, one click. Or we can uh, select separately, we can uh, pick and choose just like on uh, the phone application. So let me go ahead and apply this theme. So now uh, this uh, white theme uh, is applied, you can see it uh, right there. But I'm going to go back and select a different background uh, for this uh, theme. So let me go with um, uh, this red background. So we will keep the uh, hands from the old one and just use uh, the uh, background from this one. So I mark uh, the background for both the archive and the favorites. Uh, to be uh, to come from this theme and uh, why not let's also add uh, the the theme bubble and you can see we could add the dial the hour minute second hands from uh, themes selectively I apply this one and you can see right away we still have the same dial the same uh, hands from the uh, first theme and the background colors uh, from the second theme and you can even uh, look at the um, archive cloud right there okay so that's that's just it it's this simple uh, this is uh, theme uh, control right on the watch let me go back again uh, to show you the archive cloud the archive cloud settings are similarly here uh, let me um, go down here and enable the labels label color is set to white and i'm going to uh, increase uh, the si the label size now we have to scroll uh, a bit to the side so we can see them still the labels are a little bit too small i can click anywhere it's going to return uh, to this setting screen i now increased it and you can see how the labels uh, grew inside. I will just go all the way uh, to the uh, largest size. So uh, that's one setting there and also we could we could select a different um, uh, layout. I will choose this other one which uh, gives me uh, smaller icons and actually this uh, needs a different label setting. So there we go. I think this is a nice uh, way to access the applications in the archive cloud. If you want it uh, paginated archives, that's also possible. We just go with the, one of the paginated ones. So this one uh, gives us these pages. If the icons appear, seem to be too small, uh, we can change this uh, variance control right there and then the icons become bigger and they can be organized here you can still um, let me yeah exit back uh, to the watch face you can uh, still long press 
on bubbles and it brings up the edit screen which didn't change that much uh, some more options will come here so uh, let's go back to the settings uh, some final things we still have these bulk operations which become pretty important in this case uh, in the standalone version and also we have the show hidden apps so when you delete or hide uh, an application on the watch uh, this allows you to see all the hidden ones and unhide the uh, applications that uh, you need um, and we have the ambient uh, mode control right here right now i have this uh, selective ambient mode which uh, simply shows me uh, all the bubbles both in ambient and um, active mode but uh, the other options are also there let me go once more back to the clock settings clock bubble settings i will enable the uh, seconds hand there you go it moves now and i will also enable the ticking sound pretty faint but you can make it out <laughs> 